Welcome to the next session of Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are analyzing two different buildings which have different height and there is some wind load that is going to be applied on them and we will analyze the modal and harmonic response of those two buildings. They will have different heights. So we would see that suppose if there is wind in that area which is causing some pressure on them then which building would show more deformation over it. We are going to have two buildings. They will have two different heights. One will be longer and one will be shorter. So you can say that we are dealing with a long column and a medium or a short column. So let's start with modal analysis. I'll go to geometry, right click, new design modular geometry, units millimeter, xy, look at, sketching, I'll start by drawing the base for the two buildings. I'll give it some dimension. Say it is 200 by 50. I'll extrude it. Say this is 20 mm. Generate. So this is the base over which I'm going to make my two buildings. So I'll select this face, new plane, generate, look at. I'll make my first building. It's just a simple rectangle that I'm using for showing the building. You can create the entire model. I'll give it some dimensions. Fifty by twenty-five, and I'll mark the distance from here. Say it's twelve. And this distance will be twelve point five. Now I'll extrude this. Say the height is 500 mm. Generate. So this is one long building that I have created. Again on the same face, I will generate another plane. Look at. I will sketch another building by using a rectangle. And give it some dimensions. Say it is 80 by 30 mm. I will give the distance between these two. Say it's 15. And the vertical height is 10. Now I will extrude this body. I'll choose the height for this as 250 mm. Generate. So this is my geometry wherein I have a base and two buildings with different dimensions and different heights specifically. Now I'll go to model and double click on it. I'm not changing the material. I'll leave it to structural steel. You can choose any material that you want to. I'll go to mesh, insert method. I'll select the entire geometry. Method I'm going to use multi zone such that wherever what type of mesh is required accordingly, the software will decide and generate. Also, I'll insert sizing by selecting the entire geometry. Here it is 27 mm. I will give 5 mm. I'll go to mesh and update. Next, I'll go to analysis settings. 
since we are doing modal analysis i'll simply give a fixed support at the base then i'll go to solution and solve it's solving for six modes of vibration I'll select all the modes and create mode shape results. I'll go to solution and solve it. Now let's see how do the buildings behave when there is no load applied to it. And we are just seeing the natural frequency of these bodies. So for the first building, I can see the first natural frequency is 79.46 Hertz. So at this frequency, this building will move in this way. And suppose if we have a frequency of 156.69 Hertz, this building will again start swaying in side to side direction. Third deformation is for the shorter building. And here you can see the value is 366.82 Hertz. So it will start moving in case this frequency is tapped. And then we have the next frequency as 492.69. The first building or column as you want to call it. You can see it's moving again. At 905 hertz, that's the second frequency, natural frequency of the shorter column. And this is the next frequency of this longer one. So you could see that we have tapped quite the natural frequencies of these body. Now we will go and apply some wind load on it. So I'll go to harmonic response and drag it over the solution. I'll double click on setup. I'll go to analysis settings. Now I need to choose minimum and maximum range. So you can see here 79 is the minimum frequency. So if you wish, you can change this value to say 50. And the final deformation that we have chosen is 942. So I will take this value as 950. Let me choose the number of intervals for the solution as 50. Now I'll insert pressure on both these faces of say 50 megapascal. I'll go to solution and insert frequency response deformation. I'll select the entire geometry and the direction that I want to see is the y direction because in this direction I have applied the pressure. So I'll go to solution and solve now. Okay, let's see the frequency response. You can see here there are three peaks. In that, this first peak that I can see is the maximum value. We'll just go to the results and we'll check that the frequency is 86 hertz where I can see the maximum amplitude of 1610.5 mm. That's because of the resonance being highest because of this natural frequency and you're getting the amplitude of 1610.5 mm. I have not given any damping coefficient to the system yet. So we will just go and check. We'll go to analysis settings and cluster results. I'll just choose yes so that I can, you know, have more points along the point where the maximum amplitude is generated. As soon as you choose that, the system is showing that there is no damping and there is a requirement for it. So I will just go to damping controls and give some damping coefficient. I'll give the value as 0.01. Then I'll go to solution and solve. Now we can see that the value is very clearly visible. It was this point itself and we'll just go down and check again. Now the frequency is 79.459 Hertz and the amplitude is 13900 mm. This is because of the damping coefficient that I have given. 
So we will go to frequency response, right click, create contour result. I want to see the directional deformation and I also want to insert the stress equivalent over this body. I want to see which part of the body is stressed because of this frequency value. The value is 79.459. So I've inserted the value here in equivalent stress. Again, I'll go to solution and solve. So let's check the directional deformation. You can see the column which is more slender or taller has actually shown a deformation and the shorter one is not showing such a deformation at this frequency. The resonance has happened because of the wind load. So suppose if these two buildings are standing and there is a wind around these two buildings, then the slender one is going to be affected more as compared to the shorter one. Also, let's check where the equivalent stress is more. You can see here, somewhere in this zone, the color is red. You can just stop it and click on the maximum minimum value. The shorter column or the shorter building as you would call it is having minimum stress on it and the slender one has maximum stress that too at the bottom so you need to take care of this zone you need to give proper material such that this zone is more protected the top portion is definitely going to show more deformation because of this sort of wind loads but the lower portion is going to be more stressed so this portion needs to be given a proper material such that the building can sustain this amount of wind load on it which is causing the harmonic response. Now just out of curiosity if I would want to know what would be the life of these two I can just check using the fatigue tool. I will insert the safety factor also. Let's solve it. Since we have given dynamic loading, we are definitely going to get the fatigue tool here. Let me see the life of this body. Okay, so it's showing very less value. And the safety factor is 1.65, which means the building is safe. You can see here, the shorter building at this top height is showing maximum value for life. And the slender one is showing minimum life. And that too at the bottom portion where the stress is more. So... Such kind of buildings, slender buildings, need to take care of the slenderness ratio that is the height of this column to the shortest dimension, the width you would say. So this dimension needs to be taken care of while making buildings that are too long or I would say more slender such that they can sustain the wind loads otherwise they would show directional deformation of this sort. If the load happens to coincide with one of the natural frequencies of these body. With this, I end the session. I hope you have understood how to analyze two different heighted buildings which are subjected to wind load, which is definitely one of the reasons for studying harmonic response of a body. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.